All right, we are getting ready to get onto the Manchac Swamp Bridge, which is the second longest bridge in the United States and one of the longest in the world. I don't know where it would rank in the world, but I think this is one of the top 10 longest bridges in the world. But no, this is the Manchac Swamp Bridge. So it's 22.8 miles long. So it's only about a mile shorter than the um, Lake Pontchartrain Bridge, which I also did a video of. Um, so I took that one north and I'm taking this direction we're going now is south. So it'll be south and then east towards New Orleans. So yeah. Yeah, please don't comment about me being in the left lane. Um, the speed limit's 70, I'm doing 75. So if people are trying to get around me, that means they're going way too fast. Um, this bridge is um, actually very similar to the um, Atchafalaya Basin Bridge, um, which I will, I actually have to, um, like tomorrow I'm heading back home. So I, I actually have to go that way anyway. So that's when I'll film it. Uh, 21.2 uh, 21 so yeah the mileage markers go down on this bridge um, they go up north and then they go down south so we're at 20.8 miles so this one gives you how much um, you have left on the bridge so So this bridge is um, uh, actually, so yeah, it's actually, this bridge is more like the, it reminds me just like the Atchafalaya Basin Bridge. It's crazy that bridges this long exist. So um, I hope my phone's not shaking around too much. I have it mounted, so. And I believe this bridge actually connects the I-10 to a another bridge, the um, the Bennett Spillway Bridge, but that bridge alone is 10 miles, and so this bridge connects to it, if I remember correctly. So if you add that up, that's over 30 miles. But I don't think that counts here. Absolutely crazy. So the Lake Pontchartrain one, that one literally feels like you're driving over an ocean. This one, like I said, feels more like you're just driving over a basin or a swamp. So I can now say after I cross this that I've crossed over all three of the longest bridges in the United States. I don't know, I'll have to do my research because um, I didn't really do my research on the bridges, but... Um, I'll put the um, records that all these bridges hold in my YouTube description. So after I do some more research, so. Yeah. And if I remember correctly, I believe this bridge does connect to the Bannett Spillway Bridge. So what I'll do is um, I'll stop this once we get to that highway. And then I'll actually do a video of the Bannett Spillway Bridge tomorrow when I start heading back home. Cause like I said, just like with the Atchafalaya Basin Bridge, I have to take that bridge to head home anyway. Um, the route I'm gonna be taking has me going over it. So yeah. I believe this is actually the oldest of the three as well. Actually, or I could be wrong, I have to do my research. Yeah, the sun's beginning to set. It's um, about 345 
p.m. when I'm taking this, and I just have it on the low setting, um, the camera setting, because all we're looking at is um, me driving over a bridge, so... But yeah, of the 15 longest bridges in the United States, Louisiana alone has six of the top 15 longest bridges in the United States. That's crazy. Um, Louisiana has four bridges, at least that I'm aware of, that are 10 miles long or longer. Um, the Bannett Spillway Bridge is 10.2 miles long, which is still insane. Not as insane as this. I mean, this is more than double that length, but still a 10.2 mile bridge. That's a very, very long bridge. Of the three, even though it's actually, believe it or not, the shortest out of three. 
that's still 18.2 miles long. That's still like crazy. But yeah, if you love long bridges, Louisiana is the state for you. <coughs> Sorry, I got a tickle in my throat. <coughs> Spillway and the um, Atchafalaya Basin Bridge when I get on my way home tomorrow. I also did get several elevators while um, while having been down in New Orleans. Like I got over twenty of them, so a lot more, lots of good tech content to bring y'all. That sun's in the way. This bridge almost feels like, um, and th the same you could also say that for any of the, these bridges almost feel like a, one of those um, video games where like the street or the road never ends. These bridges are almost like a real life example of that, if you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. And they're probably going slow. I'm doing, I'm going 75 miles per hour, so. So, and you'll see that in the video, in my video for that bridge. 
Yeah, every fourth like every fourth support is double notch, like it's double, and you'll see that. I'm surprised this bridge and the Lake Paja train don't do that as well. So. Yep. But like I said, Louisiana loves their extremely, extremely long bridges. We've got four miles to go. And I believe this bridge does... Um, spill it. If I remember correctly, I mean, I could be wrong. keeps going on and on and on like it feels like it never ends I mean it does but it feels like it never does um, if that sign's correct that means we or this one yeah 3.2 miles this will be three miles yeah this bridge has three more miles to go Yeah. 